in a city where people love their dogs so much they feel their pets' pain. It's worse when my dog is sick than when I'm sick. He had a cold last week, and I, it was like I wished that I, that I had the cold instead. Laura Flynn Amato couldn't take it anymore. The Staten Island dental assistant is also a dog rescuer. Laura drives to Pennsylvania every weekend. I go onto the farms and I take any unwanted breeding dog and I bring them back. She found dogs locked in cages, never cleaned, never allowed to play, yet destined for pet stores or, if they can't breed anymore, to be destroyed. When I first learned about this, it was extremely upsetting to me. Um, I remember I cried the whole week, the first week, and I said, I have to do something, I have to do something. Laura's story inspired a New York City advertising executive to take a break from his job and make a documentary about her puppy rescuing efforts. It's called Madonna of the Mills. What Laura has done is incredible. Here's somebody who, who works all week in a dentist's office in Staten Island. On weekends, she drives down on her own nickel to save 35 to 50 dogs. We follow four of the dogs in this movie whose lives were spared. One of them's a golden retriever who ends up with an autistic boy on the Lower East Side. Just a really moving story. The film's Tribeca premiere lured animal lovers, but it's unlikely to eliminate puppy mills. They're actually farms licensed by the U.S. government, and many of them are safely run by experienced breeders. But by the filmmakers' count, Laura has saved more than 2,000 dogs whose lives were in danger. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.